actually, uh, Discord is be uh, is now on using Electron Twenty. Oh, did I update? Oh, I didn't hear about that. Nineteen or twenty. Nineteen or twenty. Yeah, because I received the Electron Twenty update mm. via Flatpak, of course, because I'm using the Flatpak version of uh, Discord. Yeah. But it showed Electron Twenty and Discord app, so they were in the same update. So wow. Uh, yeah. And now I can no longer use, build Deezer, for example, because Deezer is using Electron 13. Ah. And if I tell you what Deezer is on the AUR, you're going to laugh. The name's ringing a bell. Deezer is like, uh, what's it called? Uh, streaming music. What, ah, what's it yes. Called? Spotify. It's like Spotify, but a different app. Yep, yep. A different service. Uh, but basically what Deezer is on the AUR is a Windows setup program. <laughs> what? You, yeah, if you, get, if, you, uh, if you try to build Deezer on your local machine instead of installing it directly from the AUR, you download the PKG build and you build it on your system, you're going to see Deezer-setup.exe. And what the build process does, it, because it's an extractable exe, so right. it's, it's an archive. It extracts the e exe, then bundles it up as an arch package. Because <laughs> there's no Linux version of Deezer. There's only a Windows and Mac version. That's it. What? So they, they, it's a Windows app running through Wine. Okay, sure. We've gone back to the uh, early 2000s where... We would, if we wanted to run Netflix, we would run Firefox through Wine. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, Deezer yeah. is like that. So yeah, I'm looking at it right since now. Since it's relying on Electron 13 to open, because what it does is it extracts all the components and then builds an Electron app. Yeah, no, I'm looking at it right now. The first command in the, uh, in the prepare section of the AUR build script is 7z on the exe. Yeah. That's so stupid. Because it's a 7z extractable. <laughs> There you go. You learned something about Deezer. It's a That's... Windows app running through Electron through Windows Electron. I love that. That's that's amazing. It's dumb, but it's amazing. I love that. Like <clears throat> Archies will go through stupid hoops like this to get something working if they really want it. They're doing the same thing now with Teams since Teams for Linux is discontinued. Officially discontinued. The uh, Flat Hub are going to remove it from the. They haven't removed it. They should because it's no longer official. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they haven't removed it yet. Still waiting on that. Uh, but the Arch repository, uh, AUR, uh, still has. I don't know if they switched to the Windows version yet or they're still uh, shipping uh, the Debian version. Or uh, right at this like stage, that. they're using the Debian version. The Debian version. Uh, but since it's going to be discontinued, the first people who are going to remove it from the repositories are the Debian people. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, uh, Microsoft has its hand somewhere in there. Uh, so they, I think the only workaround at that point for users, if users want to use uh, Teams on Linux, is to ship the Windows executable through Wine. There's a lot of that on the AUR. 